Dr. Paulo Saldiva is the director of the Institute of Advanced Studies at the University of Sao Paulo, where he is joining us remotely to discuss the health effects of air pollution in Brazil and what actions are needed to combat it. So thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Saldiva. It's a pleasure to talk uh, with you. Uh, I must explain my background. I am a physician, I am a pathologist. And uh, uh, I am a member of uh, the Scientific Cons uh, Advisory Council of the World Health Organization and also World Meteorological Organization. Thanks. And uh, I, I do some clinical uh, studies or pathological studies on the effects of both climate and air pollution, taking advantage of one of the largest autopsy services that exists in the world. We perform about 15,000 autopsies per year. And it's possible to read in the bodies the impressions that the city uh, caused uh, on, 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 on urban dwellers. I you, are you present the challenges in Brazil facing uh, the future climate changes uh, divided in, I will skip out the natural disasters and going to the effects of temperature per se and also uh, air pollution per se. Uh, we, briefly, uh, in Brazil we have uh, uh, the projections, if the temperature changes uh, about 1.5 to 2 centigrade Celsius, uh, we will predict that in the north and northeastern regions, uh, the increasing mortality will be equivalent to 2.5%. Uh, uh, we also uh, notice that in Brazil already, we just uh, do the um, national study in comprising 80% of the hospital admissions in Brazil. And we follow the variations in temperature and variations in hospital admissions. And by now, 4% of all hospital admissions uh, that exist in Brazil, uh, so people that got sick enough to have to go to the hospital, are about 4.5% mostly because not only by absolute temperature per se, but the speed of the uh, change in temperature, the derivative. So uh, abrupt changes in temperature uh, are making uh, people, children, and especially individuals over 65, uh, difficult to adapt to, to, to the changes uh, in the uh, body or male stasis. Dr. Also, Dr. Saldiva, we um, are having the... Yes, I, I, I was reading some of the stats, Sorry? and uh, Brazil's Minister of Health said that 49,000 Brazilians died from air quality-related illnesses each year. And I wanted to ask you, what will be the primary contributing factor to the air pollution in Brazil? Yes, air pollution now... Uh, uh, in whole capitals of Brazil, except Recife, we have air quality levels, or, or PM 2.5 levels, above the quality standards determined or suggested by WHO. And in this autopsy study, we compared the amount of particles trapped, accumulated in the lungs, uh, in comparison with the smokers. In average, uh, a person living in Sao Paulo uh, smokes unavoidably the equivalent of five cigarettes per day. Uh, so for most of us, it uh, will, would be light smokers. But there are children, new, uh, newborns, uh, fetuses, and people with this familiar history of cancer that are got sick enough to this uh, smoking uh, this environmental smoking equivalent uh, to make the difference between life and death or health and disease. Uh, in Sao Paulo, uh, we estimated that about the city, 4.5 uh, thousand people die annually because of air pollution. About uh, 8,000 in the Sao Paulo metropolitan area, 14,000 in the state of Sao Paulo, and 50,000 in Brazil.
Those, those are which is higher than car... Those are terrible statistics, uh, Dr. Saldiva. Uh, how will the climate crisis impact uh, air pollution and air quality in the years to come to Brazil? What are your projections? My projections is that, is that Brazil, uh, it, it depends, it's quite unpredictable now. Uh, we have uh, uh, not yet established what would be the action between the attitudes towards making shifting the, the fuel, for, uh, for instance, uh, and that at the same time that uh, diesel is being banned from Europe, or there is a, a, a projection of uh, reducing diesel consumption in the cities, the municipality of Sao Paulo postponed for 20 years the adoption of clean fuels for the uh, bus fleet. And uh, uh, we have declarations from our Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs that uh, climate change is not, does not occur, is a, a plot, a Marxist plot uh, generated in China to impede the development of the uh, Eastern, uh, Western world. So I don't know if this his idea will prevail, uh, but uh, I think that uh, is, uh, is, we don't know what will happen in the near future. I'm so sorry to hear that, uh, Dr. Saldivar. That sounds awfully familiar to us. Um, I wanted to ask you if there is a way to reverse the health effects of air pollution after years of exposure. Sorry, I didn't uh, got it. If, if, if there is a way to reverse the effects of air pollution after years of exposure. Uh, yes, you, uh, in general, we, for cardiovascular diseases, we estimated that the decrease of the risk occurs in the year after the reduction of air pollution. For cancer is five years of time lag. If you didn't have a cancer after five years of quitting exposure, uh, most of the effect disappears. For respiratory cardiovascular diseases, the effect is almost immediate. So you can mm -hmm. see that improving the air quality, you have an a, 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 a immediate decrease in, in, uh, in, in the risk of getting sick or die. Dr. Saldivar, I thank you very much for all the work that you do. And we truly hope that the government of Brazil take the actions needed to, to reverse this crisis.